like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. On number three, they're asking us to simplify this expression. So I'm just gonna retype it all out uh, so we can see how this has worked step by step. We have 2v times the quantity 3v squared minus 1 minus the entire quantity 6 minus 8v cubed plus 14v. And then we have a little plus 3 on the end there. So we're going to take this step by step. The first thing you want to do is use the distributive property. We are going to distribute 2v to both 3v squared and negative 1. And by distribute, I mean we need to multiply those terms. We're also going to distribute this implied negative 1 here. In other words, we're going to uh, multiply negative 1 by each of the terms in this set of parentheses. So when I multiply 2v by 3v squared, the way to do that is first you multiply the coefficients. So 2 times 3 would be 6. And then you multiply the variables. One, uh, a single v times v squared is going to end up being v cubed. Whenever you multiply variables, which are the same, you add the exponents. Finally, 2v uh, times negative 1 is going to be negative 2v. Distributing this negative sign, or really like a negative 1, is just going to flip all the signs of the terms inside this set of parentheses. So negative 1 times 6 is going to be minus 6. Negative 1 times negative 8 v cubed. We'll change that to plus, and then this will change to minus. After you use the distributive property, you want to combine like terms. So you want to try to identify which terms are like. And what I mean by that is terms are like when they have the same variable or lack of a variable and the same exponent on that variable. So we see we have two cubic terms. Here's a v cubed here, and also a v cubed here. Notice I'm underlining them with three lines. I like to do that just to kind of keep track of which terms are like. There are no squared or quadratic terms on here, so I don't need to worry about that. So I'm not going to have any terms with two underlines, but I do have two linear terms. In other words, a term that has a variable with just an exponent of one, which you don't see written. Finally, I've got two constants this negative 6 and this positive 3. So I'm going to combine each of these groups one by one. First, I'll start with my cubic terms, 6v cubed plus 8v cubed. When you add like terms, you only need to add the coefficients. The variable and the exponent on the variable should stay the same. Uh, so 6 plus 8 is 14. So I get 14v cubed when I combine those two like terms. I don't, like I said before, there's no quadratic terms, so I don't have to worry about that. I do have two linear terms, negative 2v minus 14v. So negative 2 minus 14 would be negative 16v. And finally, I have got negative 6 plus 3. So negative 6 plus 3 would be negative 3. Now I'm doing these uh, arithmetic computations in my head. Don't be afraid to use your calculator. On the CLEP test, you're allowed to use a scientific calculator. So make sure you're double-checking all your arithmetic and not doing too much in your head because you don't want to accidentally make a mistake that could be easily corrected with a calculator. Now we have our answer here, so we're just going to look through our answer choices and make sure that we have the same thing here. And yes, D is going to be our answer for number three. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.